you have started semaglutide or terzepatide and taken control of your health. You're going to be very healthy and happy as you continue on this journey. Uh, if you're my patient, I'll be checking in with you every month. If you're not my patient, you should be. Here are some things that you need to know uh, while being on semaglutide and terzepatide. Number one, if you're not drinking four of these a day, then I want you to do me a favor. Take out a couple hundred dollar bills, go to the sink and light them on fire because you're wasting your money. Because you are not getting the maximum weight loss that you can get and you are not giving the medication what it needs to do its job, which is a hydrated body that moves food the correct way. <laughs> but seriously, four 16 ounces of water a day, two before lunch, two before dinner. Second of all, fiber. Now, I don't think anybody gets enough fiber in their diet, but when you're particularly on this medication, you have to have a fiber supplement. So something that is really good to have, whether it's Metamucil or Benefiber or my favorite, this is PGX recommended by Dr. Mark Hyman, who's one of my favorite functional medicine doctors. Start with one packet a day. Um, I really like to take my fiber supplement like around five o'clock every day because that's when I'm just starving and I could eat three pizzas being on the medication or off of it. And um, if I will go ahead and drink one of these, then it naturally fills my stomach up with the fiber and I eat less and don't feel as hungry. So that's always a, a great trick. Also, if you are using the fiber granules, make sure that you're only gonna use about this much water, shake up the water bottle and chug it right away. Because if you allow this to sit, it will start to solidify and then nobody's having a good time. So 64 ounces of water, number one, got it. Is it on the checklist? Ding! Two, fiber supplement, whether it's Benefiber, Metamucil, or PGX. Ding! Three, uh, some of the things that you might want to have on hand include um, smooth move tea, which also always makes me want to go smooth move x lax. Remember when we all used to say that? Or maybe that was just me. I was not popular. Smooth move tea, which is a natural leaf form of senna which helps promote um, soft stool so that you can continue to go to the bathroom easily. Uh, a magnesium powder, most of us need to be on a magnesium supplement anyway, so if you get something like Natural Calm uh, to drink hot in the evenings, then you can make sure that you're having a healthy bowel regimen. Um, Prilosec, if you were prone to reflux before the medication, then you're definitely gonna have it while you're on the medication because one of the ways these uh, GLP-1 medicines work is by slowing down food and drink as it goes through the gut. So it's going to be sitting there for a longer time. So if you were prone to reflux before, it's going to possibly give you more reflux now. So get Prilosec. A water hack is uh, some of my patients told me they really like that circle water bottle. Now it's spelled like really gross, like C-E-R-K-U-L or something, um, but you can flavor water and uh, make it super flavorful or just a little bit of flavor and switch it out for different cartridges. I think it's like $20 at Walmart. A lot of my patients that uh, are not naturally good water drinkers swear by the circle bottle. So you might wanna pick that up. Also realize that liquids that can count as water are sparkling water or unsweet tea or sugar-free Powerade or Gatorade. Um, so all of those help hydrate. So just not like beer, coffee, tea, unless it's decaffeinated, you know, because caffeine is a diuretic. Do not make a significant change in the types of things that you eat or your activity, okay? So don't like start going to the gym five days a week and cut out all carbs and alcohol. You're already putting your body through a major change with these medications and if you change too many things at once, things can get very confusing and you could even go into a starvation where you're not losing any weight and it's not making any sense to you. So slow changes over time, one or two changes over time is how you lose weight and keep it off, okay? So maintain your activity level, maintain your regular diet right now and just make sure you 
drink enough water, add fiber, and then just follow your hunger cues because you are naturally going to be eating smaller portions, okay? But don't worry about anything else. Months one and two, you only worry about water and fiber and pooping regularly. That is it. Now, when we get into month three and four, we'll start looking at nutrition and activity. But um, if you want to increase your activity by taking a walk every day, that's fine. But nothing too crazy. No major strenuous changes. Uh, so that's basically it. If you develop severe pain or nausea or vomiting or can't keep anything down, discontinue the medication and call your prescribing provider right away. Um, if you're on terzepatide, your starting dose should be 2.5 milligrams sub-Q weekly. And if you are on semaglutide, you should be on 0.25 milligrams sub-Q weekly. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you're on the right dose. I would uh, weigh if you want to, but take measurements because I know my first two or three months on semaglutide, I, I barely lost any weight. Uh, but I did lose inches and I definitely looked and felt better. So non-scale victories are very important too. One of the things that I really appreciated, realized and learned during my own semaglutide journey is that my pre-existing insulin resistance, because I was already borderline diabetic or pre-diabetic, had to take some time to be reversed before I could actually start seeing changes on the scale. So. I always tell people, give a medication and a regimen three months before you decide whether it's truly for you or, for, or not, because uh, just 30 or even 60 days will not be able to see what the medicine can really do for you. And when done correctly, what this medicine is doing for all of us is lowering our risk of Alzheimer's, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and adding quality years to our lives. So congratulations for being on your semaglutide or terzepatide journey. Congratulations for choosing yourself. It is not cheating. It is not a lazy way out. You are simply using all the tools at your disposal to live the life that you deserve. And anyone else that says different is a doo-doo head. And you can tell them Dr. Jaya said so. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye.